Teledildonics, also known as cyberdildonics, are electronic sex toys that can be controlled by a computer to reach orgasm. Promoters of these devices have claimed since the 1980s that they are the next big thing in cyber sex technology. Teledildonics can also refer to the integration of telepresence with sex that these toys make possible. The term was first coined in 1975 by Ted Nelson in his computer lib Dream Machines. In its original conception, this technology was to have been used to for remote sex, or at least remote mutual masturbation, where the physical sensations of touch could be transmitted over a data link between the participants. A report in the Chicago Tribune in 1993 suggested that teledildonics was the virtual reality technology that may one day allow people wearing special bodysuits, headgear, and gloves to engage in tactile sexual relations from separate remote locations via computers connected to phone lines. Sex toys that can be manipulated remotely by another party are currently coming onto the market. Pun, indeed, was intended. These toys sometimes come with movies, to which the toy's actions are synchronized by means of a previously written script. I had no idea that movies had scripts. This whole time I thought that people were just ad-libbing. Wait, you know, sort of uh, explain Gerard Butler. He's terrible. And and Russell Crowe, they're, ter they're both terrible. I don't think they ever read scripts. I'm not even sure Russell Crowe can read. I'm sure as hell no he can't act or... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna get away from that. I think Nostalgia Critic, but dogs on him enough. Other products being released fit a new category called Blue Dildonics which the only thing that comes to mind when I say blue dildo in any word is a giant floppy rubber smurf dick. That's not something I want to think about. So I'm going to get away from the word blue dildonics, which allow a sex toy to be controlled remotely via a Bluetooth connection. I wonder if you can manipulate it using a PlayStation 3. I mean, it only does everything, as Kevin Butler says, I suppose. Which is odd, because it can do any, it can, it can do everything except keep me entertained. A report in 2008 suggested that teledildonics, along with text and email and webcams, especially the latter of the three, can be used to wind each other up to fever pitch during the working day as a prelude to sex with a human during the evening hours. First off. If you're at work, why are you masturbating? I might be one of the few people that can say, that can say this, but I've actually never jerked it at work. I don't jerk while I work. New technologies can help establish, people establish emotional connections via the internet. A book reviewer of David Levy's Love and Sex with Robots in The Guardian in 2008, suggested that teledildonics was but one stage in a technological and social revolution in which robots will play an increasingly important role with artificial life forms that will attend to our needs with magic fingers. Levy argued that by 2050, sex with robots will be commonplace. Some products have been shown at the Museum of Sex in New York City. Now, I'm sorry, I already looked at Orgasmatron in my first recording, and that it, well, it wasn't funny, actually, so I'm actually going to tech, click on Real Touch, whatever the fuck that is. AEBM. That sounds like a television channel. That's not repulsive of at all. Uh, let's see what this is. Adult Entertainment Broadcast. Huh. Well, this, this is awkward. I'm actually not going to read... I'm, I'm sorry, now I have to read it. AEBN launched Zobile in April 2005. Zobile made adult material available on mobile devices. Zobile was known for its Pawn My Portable campaign, which offered adult material specifically made to work with mobile devices such as the iPod and Sony's PlayStation Portable. On March 5th, 2010, ABN announced the relaunch of its Zobile mobile porn platform that included a massive redesign. Suppose it had to go and get fixed. 
AEBN announced plans to host the first annual VOD Awards in 2005. The awards winners are chosen based on the viewing habits of the site's users and on per-minute sales in theatres during the preceding calendar year. Early in 06, AEBN started xpeeps.com, an X-rated dating site that garnered 30, 300,000 users in its first eight months. In 2007, AEB, you know, I'm not actually, that's, that's irrelevant to what I want, to what I'm actually here for. So I'm going to highlight what I'm here for, all of it. In 2008, AEBN debuted a product called RealTouch, a sleeve fitted with belts, jets, heating elements, and other gadgetry that fits over the penis and synchronizes sensations to a speci specially produced online video. Uh, I'll be right back. I'm just going to go to the store. Yes, just a store, nothing else. I'll see you all when I get back.